Hi everyone! It's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Now if you've been watching my channel at all this summer, you know that the craft room is a space that I have been working on for a really long time. I believe that I have seven videos in my craft room series and I'll make sure to link that playlist above so you can check it out. But it's sort of been the project of the summer and just as a little bit of a recap, my husband and I used to use this space as the master bedroom and we just recently renovated our attic which I will include that playlist to those videos above if you'd like to check those out as well. We moved our master bedroom upstairs and then we had this space downstairs my husband and I talked about it and we decided that this space would be a great YouTube and crafting space for me I mean I, I probably convinced him a little bit of that so when school ended in June I started tackling this project and I've been working on this since the end of June and I have had so much fun putting this space together and I now feel like it's finally a space that I can use on a regular basis I have access to all of my crafting supplies and I have a great space for working on my YouTube videos and really just working on anything that's related to thrifted living so in today's video I would like to give you a tour of my new crafting and YouTube space. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kieran. I am an elementary English as a new language teacher. And here on my YouTube channel, I love to share videos about crafting and DIY, education, upcycling, thrifting, just to name a few topics. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. This space is so special to me because almost everything in this space is thrifted or was given to me or was found secondhand in some way. Some of it I found at the thrift store, some of it I found at garage sales. As you probably guessed from my channel name, I love to go thrifting and so giving myself the challenge of completing a completely thrifted crafting space was something that was really fun to me. And I think that I did pretty well on the challenge, but I would love to know what you guys think. So let's just jump right into this tour of this thrifted crafting space. So this is the view from the hallway. And to start this tour, I would like to actually share with you the floor because this originally had this really old carpet on it and I actually pulled up the carpet and it made such a huge difference. The floors are beautiful underneath. I do think we need to finish them and um, I know that we have to add, I think people were telling me quarter round is what would have gone over there. So we do have to do a couple things but that's not going to happen right now. So that's the first big project that we had. Once we took all of this stuff out of the room, we needed to take up the carpet and um, it was quite the project but it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And the second thing I would like to share with you is this entryway right here. When we had this as a master bedroom, we actually didn't put anything on this wall and as soon as I made this into the crafting space, I thought that these pieces would look really nice. The top one I believe I found at a garage sale and I just fill it with little things like thimbles and small pairs of scissors and some thread. I wanna put some other things in it but I haven't quite filled that up yet. And then this sign was a recent thrifted find. I believe it was $3.99, and I just really love it. I think it's perfect for an entryway to this space. And it says, imagine your dream, create your happiness, and live your life, which I think is perfect for this space. And I like how it's like sort of like a whitewashed look. It's really pretty. So... That was a great find. And then below that I have this thread organizer, which I think is perfect and I do want to add more thread to it. As you'll see later on in the space, I love taking the things that I have and using them as accents of color instead of painting the walls per se or um, going out and buying like a lot of fancy like uh, pieces of decor with color, I like to take what I already have and use that as decor. So I think that's really pretty. So I'm going to turn the camera now and head right over to this paper organizer. I have my printer sitting on top of it and I absolutely love this organizer. I found it at a thrift store, a local thrift store, and it actually needed a good coat of paint. I was going to share that with you guys in my last video and I had the clips and then all of a sudden they were gone. I don't know what happened. So pretty much I just took some paint that we had downstairs and I just painted it white. It's an older organizer. It's definitely been through a lot, but it definitely serves its purpose. And this was only $5, which was such an excellent deal. Right now I just have like construction paper organized in it. In the bottom I have some like laminating sheets and like one of those paper cutter things. I don't have it all filled up yet, and I would like for the paper to fit into it a little better, but it's really not that big of a deal. And on top, as I said, I have my printer, which I use a lot for school. I use it a ton for printing out activities for the kids. My mom got it for Sean and me for Christmas one year, and it's like the best gift ever. So as we turn away from the paper organizer right here, I have a closet that I am using for Poshmark. It's a bit of a mess right now. Then I will walk right over here, and I have this cube organizer that I've had forever. Sean and I actually had it in an apartment that we lived in. We lived in this tiny little studio. I think it was like 370 square feet, something like that. But when we originally got it, it was black and I didn't really like the color, so I decided to actually take it and paint it white. And it took the paint fairly well. I actually think it's the same paint that I used on that 
I'm pretty sure it is that paint. So right here I have it organized with several different things. The main thing that I have organized right in the middle is all of my fabric. I went through my fabric collection and I actually decluttered a lot of it. I got rid of those things that I just know I won't be using. And yes, I know I'm missing a wire basket right here. I used it for something, I took it somewhere, and I just, I think I might have left it there. The main thing that I have organized in here is my fabric. I also have some jars of lace right here. I got a bunch of lace at a garage sale once and I thought it looked really pretty just putting it in those jars. Then I have some paint, paints that are too big to fit in my paint organizer. And then I have a couple things from Dollar Tree, uh, several different like pieces of material from Dollar Tree. These are scarves. And then down here are some shirts. And I actually want to do some DIYs with those striped shirts. I think they're really pretty. I just really like the colors. Then I have over here, I think they're just actually some old doilies that I found in, at a garage sale and I think they're pretty. Then right here should be, what did I have in there? Stickers. What was the other thing? Oh, like vinyl letters. That's what I had in that one. So hopefully I can find those. And then up here I just have some embellishments as well for like paper crafting. Then right here I have some organization and like I told you about the thread that's on the wall, I really really like having clear organization and just using the materials that I have to keep everything organized and I just think it's really pretty. Some people might think it's a little cluttered. I actually really like how it looks and if you look closely enough you'll be able to see that the thread that I have organized in here is actually organized by color. So it is organized and I just think it's really pretty. Then right here, I have a ton of succulents that I have been collecting uh, to use for some projects. In the back right here, I have some pipe cleaners and then really tall glue sticks. I must have got them at a garage sale because I don't have a glue gun that's that big, I don't know. Then I found these buttons at a garage sale and some more thread. So actually all of this stuff with the exception of the, probably the pipe cleaners and the, most of the succulents I found at garage sales. Even the little canisters. I want to say I got a whole box of those, those glass jars for like I think a dollar or something like that. It was really cheap. Then right here I have some more organization. I keep my Sharpies right here in this um, like apothecary jar and I really like how that looks. And then I keep paintbrushes right here in this piece of melt glass. Scissors as well. Right back here I have pens. In here should be some pencils, but you know that teacher life, I gotta empty it out so I can bring them to school. Then right here I have some like Crayola type markers and stamp markers. And I love this little vase. It's Snoopy, I love Snoopy. Oh, and he has a little cast on, I just noticed that. Super cute. And then back here I have like knitting needles and a couple crochet hooks. And so moving on down this section of the room, I have this K-cup carousel that I keep all of my paints in, all of the small bottles of paint. I picked this up for maybe $2 at a thrift store. It works really well to keep everything organized and I really like being able to see all of my paint. And um, it's just very handy. So if you can find one of those and you need to organize paint, I highly recommend it. And you can find these all the time at thrift stores. They're super cheap right now. And then finally over here, I have some of my technology. I have a Cricut back here, a Cricut machine, and then a laminator here as well. I definitely have to have a laminator at home if I need to laminate some projects and I wanna bring them to school laminated already. And then right here I have some Decor. And of course, one of my favorite parts above this organizer is the gallery wall that I've created. As I said in one of my previous craft room videos, this was a project that I did a couple summers ago, or maybe last summer, and I just absolutely love how it turned out. I love the gold V right there in the frame. All of that's from Dollar Tree. I will link that video in case you'd like to check that out. Again, these are also from Dollar Tree as well, and I just painted the frames and then put those decals in the frame, and I love that. And then up there, those are probably three of my favorite projects. It was just a bunch of different paint samples on like a ring. It was in all of these different colors, so you could have like a salesperson would come and show you the different colors, and then you could pick. But these are all like from like the 50s. It's so beautiful. And so I just took them and organized them by color in both sections, and then just glued them on and put them inside of those frames. And then right here in the middle, my favorite, one of my favorites, this pair of scissors. It was actually originally red, and then I spray painted it gold. And the funny thing is that I actually got those frames on two different days, but they're exactly the same. Two different days, two different places, and they're exactly the same. So I love how that turned out. And the next thing I would like to share with you is right here, and it's actually these white curtains. I found these at a thrift store quite a while ago. I think they are stunning. I absolutely love how they drape. Is that not gorgeous? These are perfect. 
I saw them and I was like, there's no way that they're not coming home with me. So then I went to Walmart and I actually picked up these gray curtains to go with it. And then Sean and I just used like a black curtain rod up there. And if you saw my most recent craft room video, then you already know about this project. This is the ribbon organizer that I made using some stuff from Dollar Tree, and I really love how it works. This is a whole week later. It's still staying just fine. I have all of my ribbon displayed right here. It's worked really well. I haven't had any problems with it yet, and I just think it's really pretty. Again, using the materials you have to create color and to create different focal points in the room, and then you're, you're just not, you don't have to go out and buy like pieces of decor. Use the stuff you have as decor, that's my opinion. So the next part of the craft room that I would like to share with you is this. One of my first projects was tackling this shelf. We had used it in the bathroom. It was black originally. For the craft room, I changed it to white. And I really love, 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 love how it looks, how it turned out. It really brightened up the space. And it's, I just think it's so pretty. One thing I would like to do is put something right here, like maybe like a little jewel or something. Do you know what I mean? Some Like a doorknob or like a, like a cabinet like knob or something, I don't know. Just, it looks unfinished on that side. So that's something I would like to do. I think I got it for $5 at a garage sale. So it's a really great price. And as you can see, it has like really pretty detailing right there on the sides. So I think it's beautiful. And then on it, I have almost all of my supplies organized and I have like different sections. Like I have a section that has all of the cotton balls that I have. I got all of those at a garage sale. And then up here I have like my adhesives. So pretty much I just have these separated into different categories and it works really well. As I said before, making your space look beautiful and colorful with the things that you already have, but making sure that it is organized so you know what you do have. For example, I have like six bottles of tacky glue. How does that even happen? Definitely being able to have a sense of organization in your space keeps you from overbuying, um, and that's something that I'm excited to, to have in this space now. And the bins came from Dollar Tree and the little labels came from Dollar Tree as well. And then right above, Another tiny little gallery wall, nothing too fancy. Just this button sign that I found at a garage sale and then these two, I guess you would say these are two accents of green that I have in this space. They are embroidery hoops with some greenery and some uh, twine right there and I just have it hanging. I like to think that this space is more like natural looking while the other space behind me is a little more gold looking, I guess you would say. It's almost like different focal areas. And now to focus on one of our favorite spaces in the room, and that is this desk right here. But before we do that, I just have to give a little shout out to this thing right here. I found this probably two years ago, maybe. I actually shared a Sisters and Thrifters video with it. My sister Keely and I found it at a thrift store. It was originally wood, and she painted it white. And I know I paint a lot of things white, but I think that looks really nice. And so right now I have all different types of yarn organized in it, and I just think it's really beautiful. One more thing before we move to the actual desk. Right here I have two Dollar Tree garbage cans. They're just like these wire trash bins. And on this side I have some florals organized, all of the different Dollar Tree florals that I've picked up. And on this side over here I have all of my contact paper organized right there. All right, so back to this desk. Absolutely amazing, one of my best finds ever. I found this at the Goodwill. It was originally $99, and then on the day that I was there, it was actually half off. So I got that for only $50. It's this amazing, huge, gray desk. I want to say it was probably used in an office, but I really like that it's the L shape. I like that I have like two different surfaces. I like that I can take my camera and set up my tripod right on that side. And then I can sort of just lean the tripod over so that I can do some work and you guys can see above my hands. Right here I have my sewing machine and I really love that it has this whole, it was probably just a space for cords for a computer, but why not use it for the sewing machine? So I have that. Underneath here, I actually have all of my equipment, like my YouTubing equipment. So right in that basket, I keep a bunch of different kinds of tripods and different things that I use for filming. And then behind it, I actually have a ring light um, that actually probably gets used a lot more in the winter when I don't have as much natural light. So I keep those right underneath. And then we have the top of the desk. So beautiful. I love how this turned out. I love this little area, just laying some of my thrifted finds, and I just love how it's sort of like cream and greens and gold, and all of those just fit together really nicely, especially with this basket right here. I love keeping it all together. Right here I have a couple of these jars that I found actually at um, Goodwill, but they're Ikea, and I have different types of like fasteners in there. I have some, uh, let's see, paper clips, and then I have two different types of like miniature clothespins, which I think are really cute. Back here I have a little glass slipper that I found at the thrift store, and I'm a huge Cinderella fan, so 
put that right back there. And here are a couple of my favorite projects that I did during this whole process. I completed the whole back area of this desk using stick tiles and it's actually a type of product from Roommates Decor and it just adds such a beautiful accent to the back of this desk. It really brightens it up. I love that like geometric pattern. So pretty. I'll make sure to link all of those videos above in case you'd like to check it out. And right now I'm working with Roommates Decor with the Stick Tiles product again and I'm doing a project in the kitchen that I just finished today. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Then right here I have several of those like different types of scissors that you can use that create those fun like details on the edges of paper. And I have them organized by color and I love how that looks. Then right here I have all of my washi organized by color and I got these drawers at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree always has a ton of these and I love, love, love how that turned out. I found this at the Salvation Army and it just organizes some different washi and it actually came with that washi which I really love. Right back here I have a mail organizer. So right now I have my planners organized right in there and I just like to keep them there so I know where they are. And then just some little pieces of decor. I love, love, love how this looks. And again, sorry, you can't see in the drawers because it's a mess right now. <laughs> Up above I have some decor as well. Not crazy with how it looks, like I'm not crazy with that side. I like how that looks. Maybe not that. I definitely like, like how that looks. I'm not sure about those. I love how they look but I just don't know if I like them right there. So. Just some decor on top right there. And one thing that I didn't share with you all is that I have all of my diplomas hanging right here. So I love how that looks. And then right below, I have this ruler clippy thing that I found at the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And one great thing about this desk is all of this storage. I haven't maximized it yet. It's something that I'm going to be working on. But right inside, I have all of these Dollar Tree Rubbermaid bins that I found and I absolutely love these right now I just have some things organized in here that I wanted to keep together like I have some twinkle lights there I have some rocks my um, hot glue guns different things for sewing, but nothing is Actually organized in this yet. I want to possibly label it too But for now, it's just going to be sitting in here and again It's just organizing all of that stuff that was sort of just hanging out before so this side is fairly organized but this side is not organized at all yet unfortunately and the one thing that I think I mentioned to you guys before is that I really think that these bins are cute because they look like little miniature Rubbermaid totes but I do not like them as much as I like those clear bins and unfortunately I can't find those anywhere so I'm trying to figure out what I can do how I can get them I'm gonna check and see I haven't looked on the website I probably should look to see if Dollar Tree has them on their website but this side is not organized yet the other side is more organized than this one, but I still have to figure out what I want to do with those. I'm not sure. And here's what the desk looks like from the front. Sean and I were nervous when we brought it in that it might be too big, but the longer that we've had it in here, it just doesn't seem as big and we were able to really get things cleared out. And I think that added a lot of space and just made it feel not quite so cramped in here, but I love it and for only 50 bucks it was a really great deal. One more thing that I would like to do is add some decor up along here and maybe through this wall somewhere. I thought about even organizing some things on the side of the desk, but the DIY, I think I actually wanted to put the ribbon there or the diplomas, but they just didn't really seem to work out there, but I know I will be inspired somehow to figure it out. And another thing I really wanna do is right here, this is the only light that we have in this room. And it's not, it's not enough. So I want to add some more light, maybe like a stand light over there. And that's it for my thrifted craft room tour. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing the whole process. I've had so much fun sharing parts one through seven with you. I've had so much fun working on this all summer and I'm glad that you have all enjoyed it as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Liking my videos really helps support my channel and it helps my channel grow. So I would truly appreciate your support with a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed seeing this process, I have linked all of the playlists of all of the projects I've been working on above in the cards and I've also linked my thrift haul playlist which has like 60 or 70 thrifting videos in it and my garage sale haul playlist and my sisters and thrifters playlist so make sure that you check all of those out please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedliving page please like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching bye